I just got nine out of the 10 football accessories that y'all are gonna need for football practice. There's only one thing that they didn't have, which y'all are gonna have to wait and see until I get back to my place. And in total, for nine football accessories, it costs $237. $237, that's crazy. So with that said, I'm not gonna be catching up with y'all back at my place, and we're gonna get a chance to go through all 10 football accessories that every football player needs for practice. Yeah. What's up guys, so we're officially now back here in my apartment and what I'm going to be doing is really just getting a chance to break down the 10 football accessories every football player needs for practice. As y'all can see here, I was not expecting this receipt to be that long for Big Five, nor was I expecting a $237 bill for only nine items. So I definitely wanna challenge you guys to check out other retailers where you might be able to find some of these products for cheaper. With that being said, I decided to pick 10 football accessories that pretty much any football player at any level could be using for practice. And make sure you guys stay tuned because in my next video, I'm gonna be showing y'all 10 football accessories that every football player needs on game day. So these accessories really could be whenever you're in practice and there's not much contact or you're kind of doing your Monday walkthroughs. So let's get into the first item and basically how I broke it down is I started from the head to toe with accessories. We're gonna start out with this Under Armour headband right here. So I couldn't find a Nike headband, but basically what this looks like is basically a ninja headband that y'all can wear under your football helmet. I don't typically wear this style of headband and what I usually do is I take an old Nike dry fit shirt and I'll just cut the sleeve off. And why I wear this headband under my football helmet is because I sweat so much and I'm pretty sure all y'all that play football do too. And it's really easy for my helmet to come off my head. So getting a chance to wear a headband under my helmet basically absorbs the sweat so that one, my helmet's not gonna fall off easily and two, sweat's not gonna drip down and get in my eyes, which it does all the time, especially during fall camp when it was like 89 degrees in the summer. So for you guys, I definitely recommend picking up a headband. It doesn't have to be this style of ninja headband, but you could also end up cutting just an old t-shirt and using that as well. Let's now get into accessory number two. For accessory number two, we have the Shock Doctor mouthpiece. As y'all can see here, this is kind of the binky style mouth guard. I wouldn't typically wear this as a quarterback, but for all other positions, I definitely know that this mouth guard has this little swaggy aspect to it. Overall, the importance of wearing a mouth guard, like y'all know, one is to help protect your teeth, as well as it protects you from getting a concussion because once you get hit, you clench your jaw, but luckily you have a mouth guard to bite on. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really, really do like this binky style of mouth guard. And if it was easy to talk with one, I'd rock it as a QB, but it's pretty dang hard. Let's move on now to accessory number three. So for accessory number three, I picked up both a long sleeve Nike dry fit undershirt, as well as a kind of quarter short sleeve Nike dry fit undershirt. For all you guys that are football players under your shoulder pads, you definitely want to be rocking a dry fit shirt simply because the dry fit material really removes the sweat from your body and helps it evaporate quicker so you stay drier while you're out there working hard. Having this dry fit material really just is in the name itself. It helps keep you dry as well as you feel comfortable as well as quick with this type of material. Now moving on to accessory number four. All right guys, so as y'all can see here, I'm actually gonna pull this out of the box. The next accessory is a playbook wristband right here. Now this is something that I would always use in high school and I also sometimes use in college depending on the week if we have a lot of checks that we need to remember. The main reason why I'd recommend for y'all to pick up one of these playbook wristbands is because each week you have a different game plan for your opponent. It's always nice to write little notes on here whenever you're in the game and let's say if they're blitzing you gotta check to a different play but sometimes you forget what plays you can check to. Well look, you can just open up your wristband, remember that okay if they're blitzing I gotta change it to X, Y, Z, and boom, just like that. It just ultimately helps you have that extra comfortability of knowing that for any plays that you might be forgetting, you got it here all on your wrist. Some coaches and teams actually provide this for you guys. Leave a comment down below if you guys actually use this playbook wristband. I definitely recommend this for you guys that struggle sometimes remembering plays. It's a lifesaver. Let's now move on to accessory number five. 
For accessory number five, we got a pair of Nike Vapor Jet gloves. So y'all can see right here in this all white colorway. I really, really like this all white colorway. Fun fact for you guys, I'm actually gonna be experimenting throwing with gloves next season. Uh, my goal is to go play overseas. I'm not sure where yet, but I struggled a lot this fall just because my hands sweat so much and with the temperature being like 85 degrees, it was really hard to grip the ball. Getting a chance to throw with gloves, I actually experimented with this past summer, but I really didn't want to commit to it because once I actually go all in on wearing gloves, I'm gonna have to wear them all the time. But for all positions, Y'all can get a chance to definitely rock some gloves, especially once this cold fall weather comes around. Your hands can always stay warm with these gloves. For all you skill guys, gloves are pretty much a necessity. As a quarterback, like I said, I can't wait to get a chance to test them out all next year. Let's now move on to accessory number six. All right, everybody. So as y'all can see here, big shout out to Big Five. We got your handy dandy rib protectors. As y'all know, I wear the Evo Shield rib protectors, which would be right here. But for those of you guys that are balling on a budget, Big Five has just what you need. As you guys can see here, they got this padding protective material right here on your ribs, as well as on top of your shoulders and in the middle of the back right here. This is definitely something that I always wore, even during practice, because whenever we do those Oklahoma hitting drills. Say it! Are you saying? Right, there you go, 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 go. My ribs would always get beat up, even in practice. So, definitely recommend that if you're a running back, receiver, a DB, even some lineman, it doesn't hurt to wear rib protectors. At the end of the day, no one likes getting hit in the ribs, and if you do get hit in the ribs, y'all know what that feeling's like. Oh. Oh. Let's now move on to accessory number seven. All right, guys, I messed up. I actually forgot to buy the back plate from Big Five. That is a bummer. And my shoulder pads are in my locker. So I'm just gonna have a back plate pop up right here. Dun, 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 dun. So as you guys can see here, basically this back plate goes on the bottom of your shoulder pads right here. Basically what a back plate does is provides that extra protection if you guys get hit in that lower back area. As a quarterback, I wear a back plate as well as I wear the Evo Shield rib protector like I mentioned earlier. I don't go with the big old bulky rib protector just because I like the technology behind the Evo Shield as well as it's a lighter feel than just that big old bulky rib protector. Let's now move on to accessory number eight. As y'all can see here, I got a handy dandy hand warmer. Basically, what this thing is, is it goes around your waist, right? And whenever there's those cold, wet, and rainy games, you get a chance to put your hands in this bad boy and they keep you warm. Also, not to mention, they got this little handy dandy pocket right here where you can actually put in hand warmers to keep your hands warm. Definitely recommend y'all have one of these if y'all play in the South where it's usually always super hot and you never actually break these bad boys out. Well, you guys will be just fine, but especially for all the boys up North, you're definitely gonna wanna get one of these handy dandy hand warmers. Let's now move on to accessory number nine. Accessory number nine is a towel. For all of you guys that play football, y'all know you sweat like a mother. And as you guys can see here, ultimately this towel just goes right around your waist and it allows you to be able to dry your hands whenever your hands are getting sweaty so you can grip the ball easier. For me specifically, I have about three of these towels that I rotate in every single game because my hands get that sweaty. So definitely would recommend y'all picking up one of these. Let's now move on to the last and final accessory. Yeah. The last football accessory for y'all to rock in practice is a pair of tights. I don't know about y'all, but when tights first became a thing, I really wasn't down for them, but after actually getting a chance to wear them over time, they look real clean with your uniform, as well as they have that tight moisture wicking ability, just like the dry fit shirts, to basically reduce the sweat on your body to keep you drier and feeling fresher. With that said, fellas, as y'all can see, we got a bunch of gear right here, and we just covered the 10 football accessories every football player needs for practice. Make sure you guys stay tuned, as in my next video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the 10 football accessories every football player needs on game day. Thank y'all for showing so much love and support. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah. I had this here, but this is for next video, so stay tuned. Yeah.